Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just realizing I think this video is going to post on Sunday morning Mother's Day. So before we get started with this haul, I just wanted to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day and hope you're having a great day. Hope you're doing something really fun with your family or your friends or your animals or whoever you're hanging out with. Today we're going to do a scrappy haul. So this is a haul of items that I either failed to include in other hauls or I might have and I've forgotten about it and I just want to talk about these things. So grab yourself something to drink. Let's get started. So the first item that I wanted to talk about is this candle holder and it's got like a swirl design inside. This is Costa Boda. Let me see if I can get this in the shot. And when I saw this sitting on the shelf, I knew this was Costa Boda. That glass company has a very specific look to their items, so even I can figure it out. Now, if it didn't have the label, it might have taken me a few more minutes. Um, the label did help, but I absolutely love this. I was hoping to find a second one. I did not. And this one actually has an internal flaw. So it must have been, I'm thinking, dropped or hit, and it's got a little, what do they call that? It's almost like a window break, like a, like, a, you know when a rock hits a window, it gets that circular damage. That's what this has inside. You can't feel it on the outside. I'm going to try to show this on camera. But I still love this piece and felt like somebody else will too. Again, I wish I had the second one. This is like a light seafoam green or a mint green color. So I said absolutely yes. I'm thinking that I paid $3 for it and I'm not sure what it will bring because of the floor. So I'll set my price. I might even do this one on auction. The next two items a fellow reseller gave me. She was shopping in one of the Goodwills and we chatted it up. So Lisa, thank you so much. She was leaving and said, I really don't know about these pieces. Would you like them? And I took one look at them and I said, thank you so much. So thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. First one is this gorgeous framed butterfly embroidery. $3.99 and this was during that sale. So I believe I get 30% off. And originally when Lisa and I were talking, I said to Lisa, I probably will take off the frame, but you know what? With this one, I might leave it framed and just uh, protect it with good padding and cardboard and ship it out this way. I'll have to look at what the cost difference will be. A lot of times I take needlework out of the frame. I will pad it with tissue paper and roll it and put it inside a cardboard tube. But this one, I'd like to leave it framed, so I will see how it does. So like I said, $4 minus 30%. I'm not sure what this will bring. Probably, I'm going to guess $30 to $35. So that is this one. The next one is this needle point. Look how good this is. Who doesn't want to be in that picture? Books and a cat and beautiful plants. This one, the frame is much heavier. I will most likely take this out of the frame, re-donate the frame. And this one was $3.99. They are both signed. This one looks like made by Linda. Oh, I'm going to have to either get glasses or a magnifying glass. 1958 to 1993. So just beautiful. And like I said, I appreciate it, Lisa. Thank you for the framed needlework. This piece I might have showed and said that I was going to sell it. I have actually kept this piece. I know. Why? <laughs> I hardly ever keep any of my pieces. Now, don't get me wrong. I do list things and I'll put them around the house to enjoy looking at them. And then when it sells out the door, it goes and I'll put something else in the place. But I don't think I have this one listed, which is just amazing. I love this piece. I love the color of these poppies. Look at how beautiful. They are like a tissue thin orange poppy. They just make me so happy. I love this color. So I am keeping it. <laughs> and as usual, the Goodwill sticker is still on it. If you come to my house, just know that everything in my house is pretty much from Goodwill at this point or yard sales. But the items that come in that have a sticker and I'm going to keep them, I do wipe them down. I do clean them for myself, but somehow the Goodwill <laughs> sticker is always on them. So there you go. That's proof. I paid five dollars for it and uh, just love this piece. Okay, with this next piece, it is a vanity mirror or a tray mirror 
and you're probably going to be able to see my garden outside, maybe. Let's get it that way. There is my garden. It is spring here. And I picked up this piece again in Goodwill. $4 I paid for it. I've had this one probably for about a week now, waiting to list this. It has like a swirl rod glass edging, I'm going to say. Can you guys see this? These actually turn a little bit with brass hardware. I love this piece. No cracks or chips. I really don't want to have to ship this thing, but I probably will. And I will be listing it. You can see my camera. Just beautiful. Vintage. $4. I have not comped it. I'm thinking $30 to $35. Probably something like that. I have not seen um, a vanity tray like this, a mirrored tray, with the double rod. I have seen it with a single rod, I've seen it with a brass rod, but to have this swirled glass with double rods, so pretty. So I said yes to it. The next item is a set of canisters that I fell in love with. I love these little faces. Did I show these in a video, in a shopping video? Probably. Here is the first one. Look at that face. <laughs> I love a good face. I love when a face is just so sweet and whimsical. So this one, as you can see, metal canister. It says, let it snow. <laughs> the two others. They're in great shape. And I think the tops are, it's like a ceramic or a, um, some sort of resin, I'm going to say, a poured resin. Really cute condition. These are actually listed in my store. If you ever see anything on my hauls, just know that it's either in my eBay store or it's getting ready to come into my eBay store. Most times when I do a haul, it's fairly hot off the press, new stuff I've bought, and it'll take me about a week to get it listed, sometimes a little bit more. Like recently, I did a sale um, haul video. That's going to take a while because I probably came home with about 200 items. So could take me a couple of weeks to get all of that listed, but you guys know me. I'm very against death pile so everything you see in the videos if it's listable it will definitely come into my ebay store within i'm going to say a week or two but adorable canisters i think i paid for these separately and collectively when you added them up i think it cost me let me think about this four five six seven eight nine nine or ten dollars and i have no idea what i have these listed for you can check it out it didn't break Whew. Are you okay, Mr. Snowman? I dropped him right on film. He's okay though. <laughs> They're pretty hardy. They're pretty sturdy. Um, yeah, so you can check out my eBay store, Lavender Clothesline, if you want to see what I have them listed for. This next glass tray I found in Goodwill during the sale, $5, and I showed uh, finding it in the thrift store. Beautiful, beautiful colorway. And what does the back say? medium long rectangular tray paisley rose and it looks like it was sold in bloomingdale's goodwill wanted four dollars and i got it during the 30 percent off sale beautiful glass tray i pick up a lot of these i sell a lot of these i think right now i probably have maybe two or three in my store and i've probably sold i don't know 30 or 40 of them just this year alone these do really well I also wanted to talk about these trays. I did find them in Goodwill and showed them um, when I was thrifting. I wanted to talk about them because I hope the light is not too much for this. This is called Capiz Shell, C-A-P-I-Z, I think we pronounce it. When I find lamps made out of Capiz Shells, you know, the, the shade or pretty much anything made out of this, I go ahead and pick this up. These are gorgeous. I did show finding six of them, but I'm very picky about stuff like this. I want them to be in perfect condition or as near perfect as possible. The other ones had cracks or um, the, they had discoloration. So I did wind up taking the two of them. They're matching. I would have liked to have had four of them, but I still think they'll do okay. And are these listed? Are you listed? I don't even know. I don't think these are listed yet. I'll probably get these on tomorrow or the day after. So uh, what did I pay for these? I think these were $1.99 each. So let's say four for the two. And I'm thinking probably 25 for the two. All right, this next item. <laughs> I am addicted to American Girl stuff. Our generation, which is Target brand of American Girls, um, a dupe or a look-alike. Bicycle. How adorably cute is this? 
if I could bring this on the plane when I go to Florida, I'm going down to Florida to see Melissa, Fresh Bloom and Clothing, and we all know this is her favorite color. If I could fit this in my suitcase, I would just so she could use this on her board behind her couch. You know when she and Barry Bear film a video and they have that board back there? I thought this would be adorable on her board. So Melissa, if you're watching and you want the bicycle, shoot me a text, <laughs> I'll fit it in my suitcase. But I thought this was so cute. When I see American Girl or our generation items, I have a tendency to pick them up, lot them together and sell them on Facebook Marketplace. That way it makes it worth my while to do a local pickup because to stop my day and do a meetup, you know, I never want to do it at my house. I want the items that I'm doing local pickup on Facebook Marketplace to be worth my time to go and and you know make the sale so um, I will probably lot this bicycle up with other our generation items and then do a collective lot for like 50 or 75 dollars something like this what did I pay for you can I remember I think it was on the seat and I think it was $3.99 so let's figure I paid four dollars I have no idea what the bicycle brings but I, I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna want this this next item is one of those, why did I buy this? <laughs> so we all know I'm trying to learn clear glass. I've really been going up and down the clear glass aisle a lot. And I saw this little lamp. You can tell that it has a vintage cord. There's the cord. And it did have the sticker of non-polarized. I hope I didn't show this one already. To me, it reminded me a little bit of a fairy lamp, that type of thing. I imagine the glow from this is just beautiful. Truthfully, I have not even plugged it in yet, but I will plug it in uh, to make sure it works and give it a good cleaning. Now, my Goodwill does not take returns, but they have now decided that if an electronic doesn't work when you get it home, they will take it back for, um, for even exchange. So that gives me a little bit more peace of mind that if I buy an electronic and it's not working, at least I get a credit for my money, which we all know I'm gonna spend because I'm in thrift stores like five days a week now. But I thought this lamp was really nice. I don't know who makes this. Um, I don't see any marking on it. But like I said, really cute. And uh, we'll see how it does. Now, if it does great, I'll be picking these up more because this is not hard to ship. But I have been staying away from big lamps. Right now, I think I might have about five of them left. And I've probably sold more than I care to admit. I am overpacking lamps, especially the really big ones. I think a couple of months ago, I did an Ethan Allen lamp. And let me tell you, you could have fit a horse in that box. It was just crazy. And uh, the buyer was happy and it got there in one piece. But boy, I don't want to repeat that process. All right, guys, that is the video for today. I apologize, it's a short video. I might do a high profit thrift finds, but I just wanted to jump on and say happy Mother's Day to everybody. Love you guys. Go out and get what's yours. When I find something I really like, I love to share it with you guys. Now this is not from Goodwill or a thrift store. I ordered this on Amazon. It is a beautiful solar lit up statue that I purchased for Roger's mom's grave site for Mother's Day. We'll be going to the cemetery and then going on to a garden called Longwood Gardens that Roger surprised me with tickets to. So super excited about that, but wanted to share this. Look how pretty this is. I can't wait to see this lit up. I thought this was really good. So you can find this on Amazon. I have nothing to do with it. Maybe I'll put a link in this video, an Amazon link, so you guys can find it easily. All right, just figured I'd share this with you guys because I really liked it. In this part of the video, we're going to do another episode of High Profit Thrift Finds. Some of these items I did show over on my Instagram account, Lavender Clothesline, where I like to report back to you guys of what types of things I'm finding and what kind of prices my items are bringing. So let's get started. This first item, Ogeo, I think it's pronounced, is a backpack brand I was not familiar with. Now, when I saw this in the thrift store, I noticed the amount of times the branding was displayed on zipper tab pulls inside, outside, and also the material was really nice. I paid $4.50 for this. $89.55 is what I got. This next listing was a set of sheets that I found in Goodwill. $89.40. This is L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean puts out great flannel, whether it be pajamas or different items for the house. Sometimes I've even seen tablecloths made out of flannel. But this was a set of Christmas uh, tree sheets 
And like I said, $89.40, I believe I paid under $5 for the slot. Here is a t-shirt that sold out, I believe, in one day. This is a Coach branded t-shirt, $94. You can't beat that. It was new with a cut tag. And what did I pay for this? I think I paid $5 for this shirt. Next up, Williams Sonoma is always a brand I love to find and love to pick up. This is Vine and Bird. This is a cruel work set of pillow shams, $100, and I paid $250 a piece, I believe. This frying pan was the 10-inch frying pan or 10.5 Le Creuset, $83.99, and I think I sold two more of this brand uh, about the same colorway, I think. Here is one of those brands that I love to find, Robert Graham. Now, I don't pick up all of Robert Graham. I look for the really highly detailed shirts, the ones with the bright colors, the crazy prints. I have a tendency not to pick up the striped ones or the very plain ones, not to say they wouldn't sell, but when I see Robert Graham, I know this is good money, $103.50, and I paid $4.99. This next listing was the two items together, or I should say this next sale were two items together, $107.10. Ralph Lauren is always a yes for me. This is the Sophie Brooke pattern. I believe all Ralph Lauren linens have pattern names, and you can just put in a description and then look at Google Images to identify your pattern. There are also quite a few Facebook groups doing Ralph Lauren vintage items. I really don't have time for the Facebook group, so I just use Google Lens or a Google search. I paid $2.50 a piece. This lamp I had for quite a while, but I knew this was good, and I held tight for my price, $113.40. You could tell that it was good by the weight of it, by, see the little shade with the reticulated cut top, the arrow, the balance of the lamp, just the overall proportion and the beautiful finish, and I don't remember what I paid for this, definitely under $10. I'm going to guess it's $6.99. This was a very unique find. I have never found these before. They are triangle framed Grecian pictures. The little gold picture in the middle was not painted on. Those were actual, I'm going to call them charms, that were glued on. They were like a metal casting of different figures, um, mythical figures like mermaids and men on horses, winged horses, that type of thing. Definitely mid-century modern, $90.00 and $6.99 I paid. Sneakers. I know very little about sneakers, but when it's Nike or a brand that puts a model number inside, does make it much easier. Now, I recognize that these were the pump style where you could actually pump that little white circle and something puffs up. That's how little I know. I always put in my listing, I don't know if the pumps work. That way, if the buyer gets it, he's not disappointed if the pump doesn't work or stops working. $132 in any case, and I paid $747. This is an interesting find. This is a collaboration between Bergdorf Goodman and Kith. Kith is really the brand. Bergdorf Goodman is who sold it. And even the lettering on these shorts were peeling off, but $130 and I paid $4.99. This beautiful plate is quite a recent find and I did capture this in one of my videos finding this. I think it was on a bottom shelf and the colorway was peeking out. I could tell it was something good. This is Ikeros. This is from Rhodes, Greece. $129 for this plate. I think this plate sold in a couple of days. Don't you wish all items that you found in a thrift store would sell through that quickly for this kind of profit? I believe I paid $4. Okay, so this is the weight strap bands for the Soloflex uh, weightlifting machine. When I find pieces that go to a popular workout system, I go ahead and pick them up, whether it's for the Peloton or for the Soloflex, things like that, different weight resistant bands. Love finding these. Very easy to ship. They can't break because they're rubber through and through. $125. And I believe I paid $9 for these. This next item is interesting because the lamp only brought $44. 
but I included it in this high profit thrift finds grouping because the buyer paid $112 and change to have it shipped to them. Now, I did have this for quite a while, but to me, that shows that when you have an item that a buyer wants, they will be willing to pay up more for it. Now, of course, I didn't collect or keep the shipping. I had to buy the label. But in my mind, it really solidifies the idea that when you have something special, most buyers will be willing to pay for it if it's something that they want. This is a beautiful dress. This was a stretch velvet Betsy Johnson, vintage Betsy Johnson, I should say, $124.50, and I paid $7.99. This next dress, I think, sold in one day. Tory Burch, no surprise there. Tory Burch is well-loved. It was a beautiful print. I think I had it for one day, $178.80. And I don't remember, guys, what I paid for this. I'm going to say between $8 and $10. Okay, here's another Williams Sonoma Vine and Bird Cruel piece. This is the duvet cover that matched the pillow shams that I showed earlier. Uh, same buyer bought both, and they paid $187.50 for this one piece, and I paid, I believe, $6.99. Okay, this one I might have shown before. Bears repeating. This is Limoges. Doesn't get any prettier than this. I loved this vase, $225, and I got this in an auction house, and barely anybody was bidding on this. Forgot what I paid. I think I paid $7 or $10 for it. Definitely under $20, so let's even say $15 into $225, and most people didn't want it. Just crazy. Okay, here's the famous red deer that I bought in Goodwill. I paid $15 for it, $275, local pickup. I am waiting for the buyer to arrange to have it picked up. This is a great purchase, so beautiful. And um, one of the ones I was tempted to keep, but definitely don't want to keep it. Very glad it's sold. Okay, and this item is a quilt. I recently showed finding this, what I looked for in the quilt and I showed it in a haul, and I might have already reported back on Instagram that this piece brought $285. Just beautiful. All of those pieces, that patchwork, is separately cut and put together. You can't beat that. This last item is one of my all-time favorite items recently. I picked this up at an auction. Again, very few people bidding on this, but look at that pattern. Fantastic. I paid $47.50 for it, $332 and so easy to ship. You got to love an item that's easy to ship. Okay, one more item. I have reported back on this, but it bears repeating because this was on a rack that everybody had passed up. Three or four other resellers had looked at that rack. I don't know how they missed it, but I was so glad they did. $550 for a Burberry quilted jacket. You got to love that. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.